Hello, everyone. Welcome to Classic Champion Thoroughbreds. The second race of Triple Crown Glory takes us to Pimlico Racetrack this Saturday, where a field of eight horses will go to the starting gate in the 149th running of the Preakness Stakes. Trainer Bob Baffert's Muth, a bay colt by Good Magic, out of the Uncle Mo Mare Hoppa, was tabbed the 8-5 to five morning line favorite. However, Muth spiked a fever, and Baffert scratched him from the race, giving favoritism to Kenny McPeak's Kentucky Derby winner, Mystic Dan, a bay colt by Golden Sense, out of the Colonel John Mare, Ma'am. Post time for the Preakness is 7.01 p.m. Eastern Time. My name is Calvin Carter, and I am the owner of Classic Champion Thoroughbreds, LLC, where I work as a bloodstock consultant. In addition to my bloodstock work, I also blog about the two- and three-year-olds on the Triple Crown Trail. Classic Champion Thoroughbreds is a unique company with over 144 yearlings profiled at auction that have won or placed in graded stakes and stakes races both nationally and internationally. So if you're looking to buy yearlings at auction that can be competitive in stakes competition, you can contact me through my website or message me on Twitter at Calvin L. Carter. Now let's take a look at the Preakness Stakes. Here you see the classic champion thoroughbred profile of the horses entering the race. The top four in breeding are Tuscan Gold, Imagination, Just Steel, and Catching Freedom. Now Catching Freedom is a coat that I profiled as a yearly at auction. And we see here Muth has been scratched. He was right on the bubble here. He is ranked fifth in the breeding. And shortly after we created this profile here, we came up with this behavior index that allows us to move horses up or down in ranking. And as you can see here, all the horses have been moved up. And you can see here, Muth, he was ranked second on the behavior index. Now over here, the prime power has Catching Freedom, Mystic Dan, I'm sorry, Catching Power, Catching Freedom, Mystic Dan, and Muth would have been third. And then Imagination. But his scratched moved just steel up into the top four. Now shortly after we created this profile here in the behavior index here, uh, we come up with my final analysis over here. As you can see, I have Tuscan Gold, and I would have had Muth in there in the top four. I would have had Tuscan Gold, Catching Freedom, and Muth, and Imagination. So with his scratch, Muth, the scratch of Muth, that moved all these other horses up. Now the two horses I like the most are Tuscan Gold and Catching Freedom. Tuscan Gold is lightly raced, but he has the breeding to win this race. And he's uh, if he makes a, another step forward in his third start of the season, he's going to be pretty tough in this race, I think. So those are the two I like the most, Tuscan Gold and Catching Freedom. And then Imagination, Just Steel, and Mystic Dan, I would use in the other exotic spots. Now, Mystic Dan... He could perhaps win this race, but he's an anomaly with my system that I have. As you can see here, he's got a G profile in the breeding. His behavior index moves him up to a C. But even with the behavior index, that's not enough to move him into the top five. So that's something I'm still researching. And hopefully he'll be able to crack that code one of these days. But these are the top two I like, Tuscan Gold and Catching Freedom. And Imagination, Just Steel and Mystic Dan, rounding out the exotics. So that's how it could perhaps unfold. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like more information about the success I've had picking yearlings at auction, you can message me on Twitter at Calvin L. Carter or contact me through my website. Again, thank you for watching the video and good luck with your wages.